today, we will learn applications of decimals. We use decimal numbers in many situations in our daily life. If you observe carefully, you can see that we use decimal numbers in almost each and every situation. For example, marks obtained by students in examinations are expressed in decimal numbers. To represent temperatures, decimal numbers are used. In racing competitions, time taken by participants to complete the race is expressed in decimal numbers. Similarly, in many situations, decimal numbers are used. In this video, let's see some interesting applications of decimal numbers. We will first understand why the use of decimal numbers is important. Suppose there is two-fifth litres of water in a bottle and three-fourth litres of water in another bottle. Which bottle contains more water? We need to compare the fractions here, which is not easy. But if we say that one bottle has 0.4 litres of water and the other has 0.75 litres of water, then these can be compared very easily and we can say that the second bottle has more water. Now, you must have understood that it is very easy to compare quantities with the help of decimal numbers. Decimal numbers are not only useful in comparing quantities, but also in expressing quantities more precisely. For example, here, the weight of a watermelon is expressed in two ways. As you can see, the weight of the watermelon is expressed more accurately as 2.250 kilograms as compared to 2 kilograms. Now let's look at the use of decimal numbers in some examples. Mohit planted a tree near his house. He wanted to find out how much a tree grows in one year. So he measured the height of the tree on the first day of the year, which is 1.48 meters. Throughout the year, he took great care of the tree. As time passed, the tree also grew tall. On the last day of the year, he found that the height of the tree had increased by 2.13 meters. If he wants to find the height of the tree, then how will he do it? Pause the video and try to solve it. If Mohit wants to find the height of the tree, then he has to add the height of the tree on the first day of the year to the increase in the height. That means height of the tree equals 1.48 meters plus 2.13 meters. To find the answer to this, we will write the decimal numbers one below the other so that the digits in similar places fall in the same column. Then, we will add them the same way as we add whole numbers. And, we will keep the decimal point in the decimal point column. Therefore, the height of the tree will be obtained as 3.61 meters. That is, the height of the tree at the end of the year will be 3.61 meters. Let's look at another example. Manju goes for a walk around a circular path every morning. One day, she made two rounds of the circular path. She completed the first round by walking and the second round by running. The first round, if she takes 15.6 minutes, and the second round takes her 4.9 minutes, lesser than the first round, then find out the total time she took to complete both rounds. We need to find out the total time taken by Manju to complete both rounds. To do this, we have to add the time taken for completing both rounds. It is given in the example that she took 15.6 minutes to complete the first round. To complete the second round, she took 4.9 minutes less than 15.6 minutes. Therefore, to find out the time taken for completing the second round, we have to subtract 4.9 from 15.6. Can you think of how we do this? Think for a while. You got it right. First, we write the decimal numbers one below the other so that the digits at similar places fall in the same column. Then. We subtract them the same way as we subtract whole numbers. And we keep the decimal point in the decimal point column. By doing this, we get the time taken by her to complete the second round as 10.7 minutes. 
Now, we will find out the total time taken by Manju to complete both rounds by adding these two times. To do so, we again write both the decimal numbers one below the other so that the digits at the similar places fall in the same column. Then, we add them from the right side in the same way as we add whole numbers. And in the result, we place the decimal point in the decimal column. Thus, the answer we get will be 26.3 minutes. That means, Manju took 26.3 minutes for completing two rounds. Today, we have learnt applications of decimals. In the next video, we will understand it better with some examples.